need to clarify between like small gangs mists and open world zvg that's something we probably need to differentiate um, they're a little different comp yeah but for a large scale zvz uh you're completely right um basically this is pretty much the the go-to setup right here so i'm on grove keeper uh how am i gonna do this gk uh baldy shot calling with a soul scythe so that's two tanks already king red is in i believe he was on gk if i remember his play style correctly um these two tanks here are um camlands wow i'm shit at drawing we'll just put cam so gk two gks a soul scythe uh for the shot caller because it gives you the most mobility um and two cam lands what happens here with the healers uh we always 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 four healers in the each party no matter what um but for the main shot caller i believe in this one kiara was on the holy she's going to be focus focusing keeping Baldi alive no matter what that's her main job doesn't matter about the rest of the zerg having your own personal healer for a um for your shock caller is key that's for Baldi. and then the rest those three you're going to be looking at your major resets so obviously um and a rampant so your your two your two big uh, circle hills I, i'm just going to call them resets and then your rampant staff as well so one nature the rest is it holy i can't even remember is it what's the one that with the reset i can't i can't fucking remember the name of it fallen stuff fallen staff there we go so fallen fallen holy healer for uh the shot caller and then one rampant staff that's pretty much how your comp goes in terms of healers and then um these two players are the supports so it'll probably have been one locus one um fucking occult occult thank you occults they're really good once your zerg gets used to playing them um one guild that really does it well and you can watch it back on some of the aotv uh, broadcasts is money guild um they have like four to eight occults in their zerg and they just lay down a carpet on top of a carpet and top of a carpet right up to the enemy zerg so they're able to move their whole entire zerg in a in a blink of an eye nearly like a quarter of a way across the map and hit a zerg that's not expecting it they're really good at that but at the same time just boosting your general movement of the zerg when you're engaging is key um so locus also locus 100 percent um maybe times two especially in this day and age um it's pretty aids playing with one now and then the rest dps this is going to be a good mix between your range so your siege bows for a great lockdown area of effect your brimstones for the hard hitting dps that you can't so when you're playing brimstone you need to be up in their face you can't play like a little pussy you need to be pretty much at the front line dropping that brimstone on their face if you're scared you know maybe you're in the wrong setting um melee dps as well it's halberd's really good galaclaps also still pretty strong um claret blade every now and then it's depending and then blood letter for execution blood letter should be kept to one per zerg only one it's it's good at executing if the player is good if everybody's playing blood letter your zerg's going to be complete shit um and have no dps so the main things you want to look at brimstones um the new avalonian uh bows so both the crossbow and axe bow the um galas and the halberds 
are really strong at the moment. Those are your going to be your top DPS pretty much. Um, let me clear my screen.